this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demo here in the UK and today I have a bit of a different video for you. I'm going to show you all the things that I bought from the new mini catalogue. We have a new mini catalogue out that runs between January and June, so it's running until the end of June, 30th of June this year. Um, loads and loads of lovely spring and summer products in there, really gorgeous. But we also have our celebration catalogue which means that the promotion is if you spend £45 on anything from the mini catalogue or the annual catalogue or even from the clearance rack on the online you if you spend £45 you can choose a free product from the celebration catalogue such a good good opportunity to build up your stash for a bit less so let's get on and see what I have bought the first set that caught my eye was this one, Sweet Conversations. It's part of the Sweet Talk Suite. Um, and it's a bit like Love Hearts, this, this um, set. So it's got some solid hearts and some outline hearts with little messages in them. And then some sort of backgroundy images, hugs and, hugs and kisses and some little backgrounds and a nice happy Valentine's Day and happy to have you in my life. And it has, but I bought it as a bundle because it has these dies with it. So some of these dies coordinate with the the images on the front there's this cute little envelope you can fold this up to make a cute little envelope lovely tag and then these heart borders so I'm going to get a lot of use out of this lots and lots of these little tiny hearts here so you can you could just do one pass through the die cutter stamp lots and then just do lots and a lovely little tiny little um banner little banner what's that called um fishtail banner and a bigger one so I'm really excited about using that I did use it actually let me just go and grab it just talk about yourselves for a moment I used it on my calendar that I'd been making still got it here I've still got to get this over to my sister so I used it on February so just used that heart and Oh, I think I cut these up and used one of those little hearts. I just cut that, that, that stamp is all in three, but I cut it up and just used it singly. So that was that one. So that was one of my new products to play with. Then this is my one of my favourites, Daffodil Daydream. I love daffodils. I loved at this time of year when you can buy a bunch of daffodils for 95, 99p. I think it's the best, the best use of a pound that you can get. I love a bunch of daffodils. And this is gorgeous set. I love these images and the butterfly. I like this border. Easter blessings and Happy Mother's Day. I'll use every single stamp in this set. And again, it comes with a die set. So the die set die cuts some of the images from the front, the two daffodil images, but it also has these dies where you can make, build up die cut daffodils as well. Um, and I'm really looking forward to doing that. I'm really looking forward to making cards with that. So yeah, really excited about that one. I, again, I've used that one a couple of times. I've used it for March on my calendar. And I also use the same image to make my card, one of my card that was on the blog on Tuesday the 4th. Yeah, so yeah, excellent. What else have we got here? Oh, another one of my favorites, Sentimental Swirls. This was my upline, Sam Hammond's Million Sales set. So when you reach a million in sales, you get a chance to help design a stamp set. And this was hers, Sentimental Swirls. And again, I've used this twice actually i've used it in my calendar for july so i used it there with just one of the swirls and some of the flowers um and then i've used it again on a video hop which was um to make stamping the center of your project so there we go really lovely looking forward to playing a lot more with that set um, and then I bought this one and again, oh, I love this one. I like this. Honestly, every catalogue I think I've got enough. I don't need to buy anything. And then I see them all and I have to buy them. Um, this is a great set. And again, I used it in my calendar. Used it for May, which is my birthday month. Um, and I thought I'd love to have a lovely bright um, rainbow for my birthday month. Really loving that image. Gorgeous. Um, 
yeah and so you build up the rainbow with all these shapes and there's sending you a rainbow of happiness a little something to brighten your day you make this world a better place you make me happy and thank really lovely and some little background images as well and again we've got some dies so we've got um you can do use that one to, to do a, a die cut rain rain rainbow got some clouds which i used on one of those images got this lovely rainbow border and then these lovely this lovely um half sort of half rainbow just so many possibilities with that i'm really looking forward to playing a bit more with that and then if you know if you follow me for a while you know i'm a real sucker for sentiments and this sentiment had nearly every single one of these that i will use Happy anniversary just for you. Happy Father's Day. I'm not sure I'll use every bit of wonderful. I'm not sure. Happy birthday. Lots of love. Welcome, little one. Happy Easter. So proud of you. Thank you. Congrats. Happy Mother's Day. Wishing you a happily ever after. Great for um, wedding cards. And again, the best is yet to come. Great for wedding cards. So oh, most of those I will use. And I really like the fonts and the size. So really pleased with that one. I did use... Um, I don't think I've got one handy. I used um, Just For You on my customer thank you cards this month, or some of them. So um, they'll be on my blog and my YouTube channel soon. And then the last stamp set, I didn't buy this one. This was one of the free sets that we got for attending a, a Stamping Up virtual event. I'm not sure I would have bought this one, but I'm looking forward to having a little play and seeing what I can do with it. I have seen some samples. Um, it's called Amazing Silhouettes. It is quite nice. I quite I particularly like this tree. Well, not really into trees, but I do particularly like that tree um, image. So I'm having a. I, I quite like having things that that push my, me out of my comfort zone. You know, I always buy very similar things. So having something that pushes me out of my comfort zone is probably a good thing. So those were all my stamp sets. I'm now going to show you the papers that I bought. So Jez and I, my friend Jez, we tend to do a paper share with every catalogue. So we buy, buy some of the papers each and then swap half the pack. So we end up with half a pack each, which means we can afford to buy more of the papers. So let me show you what I bought. I bought sweet the paper that would go with Sweet Talk. And you can see I've used quite a lot of these already. But let me just... I keep my papers in these grip seal bags and I label them so that I know um, what they are and where they come from. So there's that one, which I've used a bit of. I only have one sheet of each, obviously, because I share with Jez, but a pack would normally come with two of each of these sheets. Love this one. Love that pattern. Liking this. Love that one. Love that stripe. Quite liking this. This is quite, they're quite fun papers. Yeah, I think it's that side that I'll use of that one. Nearly always I like one side more than the other. Quite like that. Mm, might use that. Love this one. And this will die cut some of the, the dies will die cut some of these images as well. And then, oh, and love that one as well. So really lovely set of papers. <coughs> That's called Sweet Talk. And then I bought the tulips one as well, or Jez and I did, both together. So I've got half a pack of that as well. I haven't used any of these yet. Where are they? Here they are. But they are beautiful colours. Look at that top sheet. Isn't it gorgeous? Again, it's again my love of rainbows. <laughs> really love it. So we've got that one. And then on the back, oh, nice green, watercolour effect green. Love this one. Yeah, I'd probably be that side that I'll use, not so keen on the other side. Love this spotty one. Yeah, and again, I'm not, not too keen on the clouds. Love this one. Love this one. Love both sides of that one. And you could actually use them together, look. They would coordinate really well. Love this one. It's probably one of my favourites in the pack. And actually, I quite like that as well. Love that. And again, they would coordinate really well together. And this one, again, I love this one. Yep, and quite like that. So most of those I love. So really happy about that set. Um, and I'm trying, I've made a list in one of my notebooks this time of all the things that I bought from the mini catalogue. And I'm ticking each of them as I use them. So I'm trying to make sure that things do get used. Right, what else did we buy? Right, we've got... 
artfully composed. Oh, if I can get it open. This was one I think that Jez wanted, but I wasn't as keen on. But actually, having seen it, I do quite like it. Quite like that one. Love that one. I do love a dotty, a black and white dot. L quite like that one. And I love that one. Love this um, diagonal stripe. Not so keen on that one, but do love this. And I can see that working really well as a background on cards. Yeah, that one as well. But I love this. This this just mottled background. Really subtle. I'm much more into subtle papers than, than in your face. Quite like this one though. Oh, and I love this. This this black one lovely for men's cards that one and then this one and again gorgeous I think I think I do like this the reverse of those ones better than the front and I didn't buy the stamp set or the dies that went with those so um, the tulip ones I am going to buy one of the tulip sets when I place another order I didn't play, buy it with my pre-order but I will do right now then I just want to check something in the back here so you've got an index in the back of your <clears throat> um in back of your catalogue and you can see all the papers that are available and i was going to show you the uh, ever eden eden ever eden eden ever what's it called but they're not they they were all, an out of catalogue products so i'm not going to show you those then um, I ordered them with my pre-order but obviously they're not part of the pre-order so what else have we got we've got this gorgeous this is called mother of pearl you get two sheets of this in a pack can't remember how much it was but i don't know if i can give you the effect on camera but it's absolutely good perfectly smooth so it's not like glimmer paper but can you see how gorgeous and shiny and shimmery that is absolutely lovely so i will be using that very sparingly and then we ordered um, the vellum layering design so gorgeous vellum so let me see if I can find oh, I think there's six different designs in here so let's see so I'm going to put it on a background of black so that you can see the designs a bit better hopefully at least the white ones so that's like a white print from a book this is like a white map and this is like a white script, sort of handwritten script. And then you get the same designs in black. I don't think that's going to show up as well on there. Oh, yes, it will show up still. So you get the handwritten um, script, the roads, the map, and the black text. So I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those yet. I'm going to have to wait and see what other people do with them. I'm not not terribly inspired at the moment but I know I will be as the catalogue goes along right and then we also had loads of um, embellishments and things um, so let's start with the ribbons so the ribbons are all on page obviously they're scattered throughout the catalogue but they're all on page 87 of the catalogue so we bought quite a few of these between us so we bought the cotton what are they? Cotton Ribbon Combo Pack. So this is in, I think that's Petal Pink and Misty Moonlight. Really lovely. They're really soft and they are, they're cotton, so they're not silky. They're not um, gross grain or anything. They're really lovely and really soft. Be lovely to tie bows in those. Quite pleased with those. Um, and then we bought the Evening Evergreen Window Pane Check Ribbon. And again, this is really nice. And there's quite a lot of um, papers that have this evening evergreen in them so that'll be really useful to coordinate with those we then bought the fan bakers twine um, set so we get i'm gonna say that's evening evergreen is that evening evergreen yes i think it is night of navy it's either night of navy or but i'm in my um mid misty moonlight and then um red and white baker's twine so again i'm trying to force myself to use things like that a little bit more because i don't tend to use them and then we bought to coordinate with the heart set that i showed you earlier the con sweet conversation this red faux linen um ribbon which again is lovely and they're so soft and they're so easy to tie in really nice bows gorgeous um and then 
I oh, this is one we didn't share. I bought this, which is a soft succulent shimmer ribbon because I'm going to do a share of the um, Eden Eden's Garden Garden of Eden whatever that set is called. I'm going to do a share, and this ribbon will coordinate with the papers really well. And then lastly, with ribbons, is this white frayed ribbon. This is another thing that we got free for attending the, the Stamping Up on stage. This is really lovely. It's, and again, it's so they're so soft, these ribbons. They're so easy to um, use because they're so beautifully soft. So that is all the ribbons. And then we had a few more more products if I get to the embellishments if, yes and um, I did buy a set of dies these are called the amazing thanks dies so there's an outline and a word saying thanks and then you and then are so you can um, an amazing so you can do you are amazing thanks or thank you um, so I thought I'd, I'd use the thanks a lot and um, I'm, I've been looking for something to do a card for my daughter because she starts rehearsing for her tour um, soon and so she's going to be on stage and I just wanted I'll make her want to make her a card to wish her luck so I think you are amazing would be great to put on that um, and then I bought the masks the butterflies and flowers decorative masks these are gorgeous I've been using the masks quite a lot recently but these are just divine these patterns gorgeous so you've got those three so they make really nice backgrounds but then you've got these ones that you could use with them so you could do this butterfly shape and then what you could do is use that behind the butterfly so you could use a combination of them absolutely gorgeous love them love them love them love them um so there's that one six in a pack so a real bargain and they with our blending brushes they work so well so so well so i shall have a little play with those at one stage when i get a moment and then i've got this hive 3d embossing folder which although it's a honeycomb we're meant to look like a beehive actually i think that'll make a really nice sort of fairly subtle background on lots of cards so i'm really pleased with that as well and then lastly out of the mini catalog We've got some embell well, got some embellishment. Oh, let me show you the boxes first. I bought a pack. I know you can make your own boxes, and I do sometimes out of um, out of cardstock. But I do quite like where buying the, the self prepared ones because they're just so much quicker. I'm just trying to work out how to get these open. Da da da. Where's the thing? Oh, here it is. Um, and these are quite good because they've already got the double sided tape on them. So talk about making it very easy for you. So they're all scored. So you just have to fold along the score lines. It's so quick and easy to do. And then you can just decorate them with whatever you like, whatever papers you like. Be absolutely gorgeous. Pop a few treats in there and then just do up the top. So quick and easy to do. And they will go through as a large letter. I'm always on the lookout for boxes that are thinner enough to go as a large letter to send out for my customer thank yous. So just pop a few treats in there and send them off. I think they're really gorgeous, really lovely. Um, and I think, oh, and then I've just got these embellishments. And the embellishments are all on page... Da -da, here we go. Um, page 87. So... The brushed brass butterflies, which are absolutely divine. They're not very thick and they get two sizes, tiny ones and slightly bigger. They, again, were a free gift with our um, with the event that I did online with Stampin' Up. So really love those. I would have bought those had I not got them for free. Um, and then we bought the faux sea glass um, shape. So these are meant to be, let me bring the black backing in again. These are meant to be like bits of sea glass that get um, thrown into the sea. I don't know if that's any better, really, is it? Would it be better on white? Is that any better? That better to see? Oh, bits have fallen off here. I'm losing them. You have to watch that. Watch that. I don't lose too many of them. I um, oh, can't get that one off my finger now. <laughs> Stuck to my finger. Yeah, I'm going to have to be careful with these. I'm going to put these in a plastic sleeve afterwards so that I make sure I don't lose any. So really lovely, really different, lots of sort of odd shapes. 
And then the same with um, a similar thing with these ones, which are pebbles, meant to be pebbles enamel shapes. So these are pebble coloured. But again, really odd shapes. So something really different. And then lastly, I've got a pack of iridescent, where are they? Iridescent rhinestones, basic rhinestones. So they're like our normal rhinestones, but they've got an iridescence to them. So in some lights they look pinky, some lights they look yellowy, some lights they look blue and greeny. So really lovely. These are gorgeous. Really loving those. So that was my haul from the mini catalogue. However, because I bought all of that stuff, I got some free celebration items. So let me show you what I got from my celebration items. I got a stamp, one of the stamp sets, which is called Driving By. I love this image of the little Volkswagen Beetle. My husband has been going on and on and on about buying a Volkswagen camper van for, for over a year now. So I thought that might make that a quite nice card for him for his birthday. And then there's a sports car. So just a fun, a fun little set. And then I also got this one. Now this is free with a 90 pound spend because it comes with a pack of papers. So you get this lovely stamp set with some gorgeous images, really nice. And I've used that today on a card. Used that greeting on my card here. I hope you have the best birthday. Um, really lovely. And then it's got this pack of papers. I can get into it. That come with it. So you get a stamp set and a pack of papers. And this is all free if you spend £90. And what's really lovely is some of these images will stamp onto this paper. So you can embellish the papers with the stamps. So I've got that one. That one, that's quite nice, isn't it? I like the colours of that. That. With that. Gorgeous colours. Really gorgeous colours. I think that's pale papaya. Well, that might be pale papaya as well. I said it was um, petal pink, but I think it might be powerful. This is one of the papers that you can stamp with this image. So you can embellish it with that. Probably use that as well, I guess. Um, lovely stripe on the background there. Lovely dots on the background of that one. And then last one. Oh, gorgeous. Yep. Loving those papers. And then last of all, I bought... The sunshine. Oh, I got for free the rainbows and sunshine, sunshine and rainbows pack of papers. So there's 48 of these in a pack. I love these. I love the colours. I love rainbows. Loving the rainbows. Loving the stripes. Really gorgeous pack of papers. Some subtler patterns on the back, but really lovely. I love all the. I love the images on the front as well. Love this little thin stripe. Love this rainbows. Dots, love a multicolored dot and love the stripes. So really happy with these. So if you're going to think about buying the, the rainbow stamp set, these would be a good buy to, to coordinate. That will cut out with the die from the set that I showed you. Really gorgeous. Oh, I'll show you the back as well. Um, really lovely. So I'm really happy with my stash. So are you thinking of ordering? Do you want any advice? Uh, just get in touch if you do. Um, don't forget, you've only got to, you've got the catalogue until the end of June, but celebrations only runs until the 28th of, August, of February. So you need to get those orders in. And a lot of it is while stocks last. Now, there should be plenty of stock, but um, just in case, um, things do sometimes run out. We do sometimes go out, of, uh, go out of stock before the end of celebration and they don't replenish them um, always. So just be aware. So. That's what I've bought so far from the new mini catalogue. There will be other things heading towards my basket, I can guarantee. But for now, that's it. Thank you for watching. Again, if you want to, if you'd like a mini catalogue and a celebration catalogue, please just get in touch. Leave me a message on this video or um, send me an email, whatever you'd like to do, jilldchapman at gmail.com, and I'll get one in the post to you. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll be back really soon with more inspiration. Bye for now.